All right, so I wanted to make this into a two-part series. The first part was about aligning your core values and how that's going to keep you centered through all the problems, different um, turmoil within your life. Now, that's part one. Once we have that out of the way, we're moving on to phase two, to part two. And that is going to be really picking what it is that you really want to focus on. So the core values in part one, now we're... Uh, created that base, that foundation, and now we're moving on to what is it that we really care about and want to focus on. So how do we do that? Well, you know, it's similar to how we figured out the core values. You know, what, what do we really makes us feel good? When we detach ourselves from that me, 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 what is it that we want to go after? What is it that's going to make you feel like you're living a meaningful life, that you're contributing to the world, that you're contributing to the overall universe, to other people's success? And it's funny because when you get out of this me, me, me mindset, you'll be able to receive more. When you're constantly in this shark-like, and you can see this really easy right in people's eyes. You can see if they're in this taker mode or if they're, they're in this, this giving mode. And it's, it's, it's funny because the more that you give, the more that you can then receive. And people don't realize this. So get out of that, that idea of I need to constantly be taking. Again, that goes back to the kind of competitive mindset all the time. And, and open yourself up to receiving. So you have to create an overall blueprint, an overall kind of direction, an area that you want to go towards in your life. Otherwise, inevitably, what's going to happen is you're just going to fall off the bandwagon and you know something else is going to happen in your life. You're going to get distracted, preoccupied, and you'll lose all your focus. So you, what I like to do is I like to actually write down what it is that I want to go after. So, and it's so funny, you see all these people that like just like walk by and they'll just be like yelling, um, even though when you're, you're trying to film a video, but that's all good, besides so the point. Um, I, I enjoy seeing people out, so that, that's fine. <laughs> so, keep the focus here. How do we do that? Well, I like to actually literally chart down and, and write things down. You know that I've said before that I like journaling. I, I do it every morning. I write down my overall kind of big theme intentions, kind of things that I want to uh, focus on on, on, a, on a kind of personal level, right? Might be a sentence like, I want to be empathetic. I want to empower other people. Just big, big themes, big goals. Do that. From there, I'll get much more um, kind of minute or I'll break it down and I'll look at a kind of breakdown of, of a day and on, on almost an, even an hourly level and see, okay, how can I block out, you know, these couple hours here? What am I doing? How do I block out these couple here, um, hours here? And then chart it out like that. Now, once you do that, it's going to give you much more structure because what used to happen to me is I would say, okay, well, I want to do these things today. Uh, I want to be this type of person. You have a rough idea. And the first couple hours of the day, it's going pretty good. You know, you're going through the motions and then you just lose steam. And it's because you don't have any major direction. And so as we're talking about here, these more focused things, what you really want to do on your day to day, what you want to do on, you know, your week to week, realize that you have to be very specific because there's only so much time that you have. There's only so much energy that you have and there's only so many things that you can do. And realize that the areas in your life that you really want to focus on, focus on those things. So make a list of three things, maybe, that you want to really go after and focus on those. And realize that the other areas, people are there to help you in those other areas that, you know, you, you don't have time to focus on. So, for example, if you're trying to build a certain type of business and you really like the maybe... Um, you know, marketing component to it. Focus on that. There's going to be people that will help fill in the gaps with the sales, with the back end stuff, with the accounting stuff, all that other stuff. And that's why you have to build a team. So not only are you trying to center yourself around what it is that you want to go after, let's say that is building a business and that's specifically in the marketing component. I do a lot of that stuff. So, okay, we've, we've discovered that now we got to build a team of other people around us that's going to help move us towards our goal. It sounds harsh, but you're going to have to audit your life and there's going to be a lot of people in your life that are 
not only not contributing, but they're actually probably holding you back and pulling you down. So are you willing to just cut those people out of your life? Well, I'm going to say, take it a step further. Not are you willing, you're going to have to do that. And it doesn't have to be like some sort of uh, massive breakup with that person where it ends poorly. The paradigm you always want to be in is the win-win. So you always want to think, okay, you know, not only is it going to make it better for me, it's going to make it better for that person because now they're not wasting my time and I'm not wasting their time. So we need to not only cut people off, but then we need to surround ourselves with people that are going to help build us up. And for me, this has been extremely hard because I always wanted to think of myself as I'm going to do all the work. I'm going to learn everything and be the best at everything. And I've said that before, and that was one of my problems. And number one, it's impossible to do that. Number two, you don't want to do that because most, a lot of the things you're not going to really be interested in. And it's really depressing <laughs> to think about this, but a lot of people spend their entire career doing a job that they don't really enjoy doing, that they, they really have no passion for. So don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Again, what we've gone over in these, this two-part series is discovering, rebuilding your core values, which is going to keep you ultimately centered, give you that higher purpose, and make it so it's not about me, me, me all the time. All right? Now in part two, we've talked about how can we literally, literally write down on a piece of paper and visualize, okay, what, what is it, the, the physical things in my life that I really want to go after? And remember, don't have it really be more than three things. Now, you may accomplish those three things after a certain amount of time. And then you can reevaluate the same process all over again. Maybe you come up with three new things. But until you've really accomplished those three, realize that you can only have so many. And this is, again, one of my problems that I had for a long time was I had just way too many things that I wanted to do. And what will happen is your brain will then be uh, in overdrive and it'll just be, I can't do this many things and it'll just end up shutting down. So I don't like to coddle people in the sense that, like, I think baby steps is used a little bit too much, but you do have to use those baby steps where it's one foot in front of the, the other and then you keep on going. What I see a lot of times happen is one person goes one step forward and then they're, they're almost thinking about it too much. They have too many things they're trying to do and then it's one step back. One step forward, one step back. And when that happens, you're creating that illusion like you're going somewhere. You're, you're doing energy, you're, you're, you're traversing, but you're going forward and back, forward and back. So, and essence you're not really going anywhere so don't let that happen and th th that'll sneak up on you really quickly where you'll think that you're doing a lot and then you just really aren't going anywhere so hope you enjoyed this part too i really recommend you write down what it is that you want to go after and that'll help solidify it and do that every single day get a notebook write it down um, in the morning at night whenever it is just try to you know maybe have it at the same time every day and it's going to make a world of difference Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Be well.